Hello, welcome to Cabin Fan Parts UK. I'd like to talk to you about our magnetic cab curtain set. I've always been someone who hasn't been a great lover of curtains in the cab of camper vans. Um, and the reason being is the fact that up until we've developed this product, um, they always seemed a bit sort of junky. You ended up with sort of a large rail which went around the whole cab of the vehicle. You ended up with a huge wadge of curtain material. Um, obviously when they were drawn, which often sat sort of next to the driver or the passenger seat, and I never felt that they really worked very well. Um, I was always an advocator of our thermal screen set, which is brilliant. Um, it works really, really well, um, both in the summer and in the winter. Um, we've developed our own product, which tucks under the sun visor. Please see the separate videos for this product. Um, so it'll actually fit to the windscreen without the use of suckers. But the feedback from customers was that actually it is quite a bulky product and also uh, they wanted something which possibly was a little bit more stealth. Um, obviously if you've got silver screens in the windscreen of your vehicle, it's very, very obvious that you're in there and camping. If you are camping somewhere which is perhaps on a road or in a beach car park or a lay-by or somewhere which is sort of somewhere where you're wanting to perhaps go a little bit more sort of under the radar, this product is brilliant. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to unpack it, show you obviously what comes in the kit, and then I'm going to run through the fitting of it, because actually the fitting of it is child's play. It's very, very easy and very straightforward. There's a few pointers that I'm going to obviously give in the video, but it is a very easy product to use. So the product itself comes in a very small bag. Um, it's just a simple popper bag, and inside it you end up with the main windscreen curtain and two sides. The two sides are just magnetic. So I'll do you a close up to show you how to obviously fit these. They are very, very, very straightforward. The main curtain, the main curtain um, goes underneath the sun visors, which again, I shall show you as I go through the fitting. Um, and it has a couple of poppers. So it just has a elastic over the, over the sun visors and two poppers. And as part of the kit, it also comes obviously with the poppers. Again, these are very, very easy and straightforward to fit, which I shall show you. So this product goes really, really well with the uh, uh, curtains that we've got. It matches it's, uh, the screen. Again, it's a two-layered complete blackout cab set. Goes well with the two-layered complete blackout curtains that we've got. Please be aware that there are all sorts of products out there on the market. Not all of them are actually a blackout curtain. Some of them are only a single layered fabric and they don't actually give a blackout. So these work really well, but they also work very, very well with our thermal screens. So even if you have the thermal screens for the back of the vehicle, actually this works very well um, complementing the, uh, the uh, thermal screens in the back of the vehicle. You can obviously use this in the front. With a lot of modern vehicles now using a limo tint on the glass, um, the thermal screens aren't as obvious in the back of the vehicle as they are in the windscreen and the sides of the vehicle. So again, it works very well with both products. So the sides go on with magnets. They're incredibly easy. These literally take seconds to fit. That screen is now fitted. It is as simple as that on both the driver and the passenger door. To, to put them on or to remove them is as simple as this. The fitting of the uh, windscreen one um, needs poppers, but actually the fitting and removing of it is very straightforward as you'll see in a moment. So for fitting of the windscreen, you obviously need to put on your two poppers onto the A pillars. We've found that coming down by about 25 millimeters works very, very well. The first one obviously is then going to be about 45 millimeters in. And although here it's sort of about sort of uh, 550 mil, maybe a little bit over. We're actually going to, if you if you look at the fact that you can actually stretch this quite a lot, we're actually going to we're actually going to put a little bit of tension on this and fit it at 580 mil. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get some masking tape. Um, I'm going to mark this on a piece of masking tape because once it's marked on a piece of masking tape. Putting it onto your AE pillar means that you've actually got something to uh, work to in order to fit the poppers and it makes measuring very, very easy. So we've got 50 mil masking tape here. So um, it doesn't need to be millimeter perfect. 
we are going to do this on the near side, which is the passenger side. So from the windscreen here, you want to be in by 40 millimeters or 10 millimeters in from the edge. I'm just gonna do it by eye. So we've, we've measured the poppers at 45 millimeters and 10 millimeters in. So I'm just gonna put a dot here. And then down the other end here, 580 millimeters again come in by 10 millimeters and just put a dot in here so if we now put this into the vehicle you'll see how easy it is in order to obviously fix the poppers so we've got the piece of masking tape with the two marks on it this just needs to be placed in line with your windscreen here um, lining it up with the top of the plastic and running down to the bottom. So we've now got the two places here where we need to be fixing the poppers. I'm going to fix the poppers with a power screwdriver, but please be aware that it's really easy to overdo the tightening of these with a power screwdriver. And if you're at all unsure, what I would say is finish them off by hand um, at the end, just to make sure that you don't pull the screws all the way through the poppers. So I'm just going to get these both started. And I'm going to do both of these the same and then remove the masking tape so that the masking tape doesn't get stuck behind the poppers. And then I'm gonna finish screwing them up. So the one at the bottom nearest the windscreen is a little bit more difficult. So I am just gonna use a bradle. So anything sharp, just to basically start it off to give me, myself a bit of a fighting chance. Please be aware that obviously if you drop this down into the windscreen, you might not get it back again. We aren't able to supply spares of these, so please do be careful as you fit them. Um, something I didn't also mention was the fact that this is a PZ1. It's a smaller fitting, not the larger fitting, otherwise you will just round off the screws. So we'll start this one off. There it goes. And I'm gonna stop at this point and remove the masking tape. So now I'm gonna do these up. I am gonna use the power screwdriver to do these up, but as said, possibly do these by hand if you're at all unsure. You do the same on both sides of the vehicle, both the driver and the passenger side just has these two poppers, and then I'll show you the fitting of the windscreen curtain. So we've put one side on, they're both exactly the same. I'll show you putting this side on. You've got a piece of elastic which goes over the end of the sun visor, clip it onto the sun visor, and then just rotate it until the curtain is at the top of the sun visor and push the sun visor up out of the way. And you've obviously got the two poppers, one at the top, one at the bottom, with your two magnetic side screens, Fitting it on and off is as easy as this.